Keep spreading those positive vibes. This isn't the end of Dibble, and I'll see you guys very soon. A YouTube star has avoided jail for grooming a 13-year-old girl for sex. Yep, this fuckwit, who many of us watched, tried to meet up with a child and have sex with them. My thoughts and prayers with uh, with Marcus Dibble. Uh, dude's done. He got owned, uh, and uh, looks like man deserves it. Do you have any remorse for what you did, Mark? Any remorse at all? I don't know why reporters ask these fucking questions. Of course he has no remorse. He was thinking about himself and his fucking cop. Dude is disgusting. 13. That's a fucking baby. Fuck. The truth has come out that your pedophile, the truth is out. Marcus Devil, I have no respect for you at all, in the slightest at all. I just came in my pants. Hi, fucking retard here, and welcome back to Content Cock. And today, I'm not gonna pull a leafy and bully some kids. Instead, I'm gonna be making fun of a retarded adult. So last year, I made a video on someone that you might be familiar with. Well, little did I know that there's actually more to the story. And this year, there have been some updates that have come out about Marcus Fiddle. So let's get right into the pussy. So the first thing I want to do is I want to correct one of my errors from the last video. So, yes, the situation did happen in 2020, and also 2019, but the allegations didn't come out until 2021. So, sorry about that. So the first thing I want to talk about is his claims. Wait, what were you going to say, sorry? Oh, bro, the funniest fucking thing was, not funniest, but like, because I filmed with the cunt. Yeah. And like, and then, well, I think we did maybe one or two videos together. Then it comes out he's a fucking pedophile. I was like, whoa, hectic. I hadn't talked to him in fucking maybe a couple of years. Well, and then he tried to. Apparently, he's not a pedophile because he never went through with it. Oh, oh, that's fine then. Okay, and get him back on air. <laughs> so apparently, he's not a pedo because he didn't go through with it. Oh, my God. Do you know how stupid that sounds? I mean, that's like me saying, I'm not a dog fucker because I didn't stick my finger in its ass. I just jizzed on its face, but I'm not a dog fucker. Do you see how stupid that sounds? Marcus, you're still a pedo for even fucking thinking about meeting up with that 13 year old. I mean, she told you her age and you said it was okay. So stop fucking lying. And if you're apparently not a pedo, then why did you keep messaging this girl for months? 
And how are you not a pedo if you literally have child porn in your fucking house? No, 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 no. You see, that's not child porn. I know it has naked 12 year olds on it, but that's not child porn. And apparently, he was going to make a video basically telling his side of the story and proving that he's not a pedo. Which we know is bullshit. And last time I checked, he still hasn't made that video. In fact, that plan was fucking months ago. And this fucker actually tried moving to Queensland for a fresh start. But then he got booted out of Queensland and now he's back in Western Australia. Ha 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 ha! Suck shit! When you're dead and you've taken your last breath Is there life past death? When you're dead, you collapse and your heart stops So what's been happening with these social media? Now, in my last video, I said his Instagram got terminated. Well, Marcus actually reactivated it. Yes, you heard me right. He got his Instagram back. And I'm not joking or lying when I say that. And he changed his username to Dibble Will BRB. And if you don't know what BRB means, it basically means be right back. And he also changed his profile pic to fucking... Scott Morrison. And he also has a YouTube link in his bio that you would think leads up to his response video, but no, it leads to a video about sheep. Why? And if you go into his Instagram highlights, there are photos of just sheep. Now, you may think, what the fuck? Does he have a sheep fetish? Does he want to fuck sheep? Does he want to sniff their assholes? But I think that he's actually trying to say something here. I think he's trying to say that we're sheep and we just believe whatever the media tells us. I mean, if you're gonna make a return, I don't think calling your former fans sheep is the right way to go about it. So little did I know when I made my first video about Marcus that he actually has a Twitch channel, a Discord server, a merch store, and a TikTok page. So what's been happening with those? Well, let's start with his Twitch channel. His Twitch channel is pretty much dead. There's no new live streams, no new clips, diddly fucking squat. In fact, he hasn't been live in over two years. So I'm assuming that his Twitch channel has been dead for a long time. Even before the allegations came out. Now his Discord. Now, I wasn't able to get in his Discord server. But I did find out that his Discord server is actually still active. But the community in that Discord server has pretty much abandoned him or forgot they're in there. His Discord is called Dibble Sheep Avatar and it's still active. I've been in this Discord since September and not a single thing has happened except for other users joining in. This would be the most ideal place for me to stir the pot if I wanted to, but honestly, I think it's just better to leave it the way it is. At times I've seen Dibble go online and I even tried reaching out to him once, but for obvious reasons, he has security in place to make sure no random idiot like myself can go and harass him. I've looked through all the channels and there's been nothing concerning the court cases, so it looks abandoned or one of the mods is really good at deleting that sort of thing. I wouldn't recommend joining this Discord or anything from what I can see, most of the community have abandoned him or otherwise they've just forgotten they're still in the Discord. I'm gonna stay in this Discord as long as I can, at least until Dibble kicks me out or it gets shut down. If he's gonna post any sort of update publicly, then this would be the best way to get his word out, and I wouldn't wanna miss that. Now his merch store. His merch store, on the other hand, has been shut down. Ha 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 Oh my god. Oh. That's fucking gold. But if Dibble ever makes another merch store, I have a really great idea for a shirt. It should say, Bend Over 13 Year Olds. What do you think, Marcus? And finally, his TikTok. Now, there's not much to say other than it doesn't exist anymore. And I don't mean like, terminated. I mean every video on there has been deleted. And the username was changed to a zero. There's no likes at all. And every follower on that TikTok is gone.
So, before the allegations came out, Dibble was actually involved with another court case. Now, I don't know much about this situation, but I'll work with what I've seen so far. And I do strongly suggest that you guys do your own research, just in case I'm wrong. Anyway, so Marcus Dibble decided to call out yet another person that we're just going to call uh, Nutsack. So Big Sweaty Bone is a school teacher who is also involved with the photography business. So Marcus did what he does best and called him out with some serious allegations. I mean, serious allegations. But it came back to bite him in the ass. Yeah, dude, the thing is, he's a teacher, right? But the video had nothing to do with him being a teacher. The video was about the safety of the children, safety of new models for educational purposes as well, and to aware people. Had nothing to do with him being a teacher. Unfortunately, he was a teacher and he works around children, so that's a bit awkward. But it'd be the same for anyone else. Say they were an engineer. Oh, he's a photographer. He's doing the same shit, but he's an engineer. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck, dude. Like, honestly, the lawyer who is messaging me right now is such a fucking cuck. Holy shit, bro. I've been on the phone every fucking day. I'm just getting over it, man. It's such a waste of time, bro. Thank you for helping out, though, man. It's really appreciated, dude. Love you, man. Yeah, I accidentally did say he was a teacher out of school. I didn't say what school, though. I did say I was a teacher, but the reason I said he was a teacher is because he's working around children, and I care for the children's safety. Oh, I care for children. Yeah, I care for children so much that I want to finger them. That's why I mentioned that. So, I can apologize, I can apologize for that if it does get to it, but honestly, dude, if I had a son or daughter, who was at a school and there was a teacher working there who's done the things as he done no fucking way would i want them being teached by someone like him all right let me read through what he said right now our client improperly touches these young females during the shoot without their consent i've got proof of that i've got statements there have been multiple reports of true allegations of that information inappropriate non-consensual touching might go up but proof our client improperly touched intimate parts of young female models I have, I'd never said intimate part. I never fucking said that. You're a lying cunt. Our client intentionally seeks to manipulate young female models into providing him sexual favors in return for payment. What the fuck? I've never said, I never said that either. I actually didn't even read that. What the hell? I didn't, yeah, I didn't fucking read that. Our client is seeking to use his photography service to date and have sexual contact with very young girls. I got proof of that, asking girls out to dinner and also asking girls out for a coffee. After they shoot, I've got proof of that. Our client is, by interference, he's using position as a school teacher to similarly seek to date and have sexual contact with younger girls. No, I've never fucking said that at all. I've never stated that. Holy fucking shit, this cunt's a liar. I didn't even read this. Because all his lawyer is doing is using just big fucking words, which is where I can't reply to. I've rep uh, did I send you my replies to him? Trying to bargain? Because I have said that. I've said to him, I will send uh, Bart a private apology. No way am I making a public apology because I have not lied. I have got all the statements backing my claims. I've made no lies at all. So I'm not doing that. No fucking way. And defamation in general, I know is a total fuck around and can go on for fucking years. It's just, I'm just not going to do that. So I need to look for another option where I can actually defend myself get all these statements together. Look, I'm, ha I'm happy to apologize for Bart for offending him, but that's it. If you're offended, like that's your own, that's your own problem. But I'm not paying you fucking $10,000 for being a seedy cunt who's talking to underage girls planned, planning to shoot nude photos with them. It's just not, it's, and he doesn't realize if he keeps escalating this, this can, this is, <laughs> his lawyer's name is out there. His name is already out there. If they try sue me for defamation, everybody's going to hear about it. Everybody's going to hear the true story and they're never going to live a day in their life where they don't stop hearing about it. It's absolutely bullshit. I've tried to resolve it where we can drop it. Look, I'm even happy to talk to Bart face to face. I'm happy to talk to Bart, Bart person to person to sort something out. But because Bart's paid his lawyer, the lawyer has nitpicked everything, everything he can find to try 
make me sound as malicious as possible, which it was never the intent. The intent was never to be malicious, only to educate the public and for safety of the children and kids and younger models getting into the industry. That's what I'm pissed about, Hayden. I'm not paying any cunt money. They can fuck off. Okay, so can you actually find this video? Well, guess what? You can't. Either Marcus lost the court case and was forced to take it down, or it got deleted with his other channels. I mean, this situation went so far that there was a restraining order put in place against Dibble. Anyway, that's all I know about the situation. So if you want more information, I'll leave the TikTok links who posted these videos in the description. So before I say anything, here are some people that have something to say. Marcus Dibble, you are an absolute sicko! Grooming a 13 year old girl? Go fuck yourself, you sick bastard! You are the worst piece of shit this world has ever seen. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. How could you do this? Fuck you, Marcus Dibble. I hope the 13 year old girl is okay. I really do. You sick cunt. I aspire to be like you. I mean, wait, what the fuck? No. For real though, I'm legally obliged to tell you that I'm, hang on. No, it's not right either. Okay, legit now though. If you wanted to keep creating content, why did you have to do it, mate? That's, it's sick, it's fucking disgusting. You're fucked. Have a good day. Marcus Dibble. Interesting guy. Interesting sort of guy. Um, I used to watch him, uh, what was it? Maybe three, four, maybe even five, six years, years ago. Uh, in hindsight, now that I'm older, I realise a lot of his videos are just bullying. A lot of it is just straight up bullying. He... Of course, yeah, he go he criticizes uh, cr content creators, um, you know, for things they need to be critiqued on. But also, some of the things were just picking on their appearance. Like, dude, shut up. <laughs> um, you're a bit weird for uh, trying to hook up with a 13 year old, aren't you? I remember that seeing that uh, video of you in court, or when you left court, and you looked like you had a stick up your ass, where you, like, if... The one where he sort of walked around, like this. And it, you, you clearly had intent with this 13-year-old when you got an Airbnb, from my understanding. But you said you can't be charged because you didn't go through with it. Bit messed up, man. So Jimmy messaged me asking, hey, do you want to be part of this video? And, and you know what? I do. Because what he did was disgusting and Marcus, thousands of people looked up to you and watched you and you ruined that. Marcus, you were just thinking about yourself and your fucking dick. You could potentially ruin that girl's life if you met up with her. Anyways, go fuck yourself, Dibble. My whole opinion on the Marcus Dibble thing is he probably should have served jail time. There's no way around it. He can't let these things happen with no proper serious repercussions. Um, it's not right. Basically what he got was a slap on the wrist compared to what he should have got. Um, I've touched base on this and had my say about it, but honestly, I wouldn't want him living in the same neighbourhood as my children or people that I know who have young kids. He might never do it again, but we really don't want to take that risk. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. He's a grub. Never want to see him on a social media platform again. Thanks. I could not agree more, my friends. But now, it's my turn. Marcus. Thousands of people looked up to you, and you destroyed that by grooming a 13-year-old girl. I mean, you called out all these people 
for doing horrible things and you made yourself a hypocrite by doing the same thing. I don't know what was going through your head and frankly, I don't wanna know. Marcus, I've got no respect for you and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't. I will never watch your videos the same way again. You're a disgusting human being. Even calling you a human being is too much of a compliment. You acted like prey, but really you were the predator. And God, if you ever try to come back to YouTube as if nothing happened, I will, I will finger your bum. And don't even dare make an apology video. God, I'm sorry guys. You know, I, I, I have urges sometimes. I just, I just wanted a kid to fill my one inch sub with extra mayonnaise. <laughs> now, about your GoFundMe page. Since you raised over 20 grand, I think you should donate some of that money to charity. So here are some charities on screen right now. This is not gonna fix what you did, but it has a far better use than sitting in your fucking pocket. And let's be honest, you don't deserve a fucking cent. To conclude, uh, be careful on the internet and please, please, please stay safe on the internet. And if you ever dealt with a predator that wanted you to send nudes or try to meet up and have sex with you or actually met up and had sex with you, which sadly happens a lot, go to cybertip.org and report a predator. It doesn't matter how little information you have on them, if you report a predator, the most likely chance we can get people like Marcus behind bars. This video isn't sponsored by them, but I am personally recommending this website to any victims that might be watching this video. Marcus Dibble, please respond. You're done, bud. We got the chat logs. You came to meet up with a child, huh? Well, give us a smile for the camera. Goof, you're subhuman dirt now, we all know. So gross on the website and can't escape. No, you fucked up and been caught on. <laughs> so you wanna mess around?